Because what else did I say that I was going to touch on? They said I have till 9. I'm probably over my time already. I know the truth. What time is it? I got 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, thank you, girl. Who's that? Poor guy. I don't know who. Not being funny. I'm just saying. You know, like, the sexuality talk is seriously now. They got the he, she, her pronouns and the him, us, they. and It's confusing, but it's, it's important to respect everybody and to, you know, treat them how they want to be treated. Um, seriously. But what were the other things that I said I was going to talk about? Does anybody remember? Self-esteem. Self let's hit it. So what, what are other self-esteem issues that you all may face or someone that you know may face? Just blurt them out. Being ugly. Being ugly. Being fat. Being, fat. Being, dumb. Being dumb. What else? What'd you say, girl? <laughs> You're resilient. <laughs> say it again. Being an exchange student. Other things. Not fitting in. What is, is that what you said? Not fitting in? Thank you. People not understanding you. Not fitting in. People not getting you. Anything else? Being gay. Being gay. Thank you. Anything else? Say it again. Being him. That could be a self-esteem issue. <laughs> Seriously. Being jealous. Being mentally challenged. Okay, so with all of these things that you all have blurted out, this is, this is what I've learned when it comes to self-esteem. If you spend your days trying to compare yourself to someone else or getting your value from how other people see you, you will never be happy. If you spend your days every single day saying, I'm not as good as that person. I'm not as smart as that person. I'm not as beautiful as that person. I'm not as good as that person. I'm not as whatever as that person. And, and if you get your value from how other people see you, they think I'm stupid. They think I'm too funny. They think I'm too loud. They think I'm obnoxious. They think I'm crazy. They think whatever. You will never be happy. I told my students yesterday, once I learn to get my sense of value from myself, that's when I began to have to not have depression issues in my teens. That's when I began to not have self-esteem issues because the source of those issues was the fact that I was comparing myself to someone else or the fact that I was getting my value from a teacher kind of treating me poorly and saying like, Byron, you're never going to amount to anything. Like I thought that that was what I was worth, but that wasn't what I was worth. That wasn't the reality of the situation. And once I learned to value myself and to love myself, now I'm crazy wherever I go. Like you cannot keep me tamed because this is who I am. And if you want me to be me, you have to let me be me. So that's what I got to say about the self-esteem. And you don't have to agree with everybody. Like you don't have to agree. Like if someone wants to be gay, for instance, like you don't like re religiously, whatever, you don't have to agree with that person. But just love them. Give them the opportunity to make their own decisions. Don't talk about them. Don't treat them poorly. Love them. If you really want to communicate to them, just love them. Love, love, love.